Hello everyone, my name is KB Kwan from TasteAsianFood.com. In this video, I want to share with you how do I prepare pineapple fried rice. The first step is to cook the rice of course. But if you have leftover rice, that's great. You can just keep the step. And you can see that there's a lot of starch inside the rice and the color is murky. Wash it a few times. until the water runs clear and then drain away as much water as possible and for one cup of rice add one and a half cup of water that's the correct ratio of water and rice for this recipe use the rice cooker to cook the rice we have removed the rice from the rice cooker the rice grains are all separated one from another. Make sure that it does not form lumps before you start frying it. Now let's cut the pineapple and make the pineapple bowl. Cut the pineapple into half. Then cut along the side of the pineapple. And then cut it into cubes. Use a large spoon to scoop out the cubes. Clean up the remaining flesh inside and now we have a beautiful pineapple bowl. Remove the core of the pineapple just like we remove the core of apple which we do not use. And then we cut it into smaller pieces. Clean, deway, and shell the shrimps. And then cut half of them into small pieces and the remaining three or four as the whole piece. The whole piece is for garnishing. The small little pieces will be cooked and mixed together with the rice. Besides the shrimps and the pineapple, we also have other ingredients to cook the rice. We have egg, onion, some raisin, cashew nuts, two different colors of capsicum, and some scallion. For the seasoning, we have the Thai seasoning sauce. That is the Gold Mountain brand Thai seasoning sauce. And then we have fish sauce. This is the fish sauce. A bit of sugar, some curry powder, and lastly, ground white pepper. If you want to get the recipe and the quantity of each ingredient, please go to tasteasianfood.com pineapple fried rice. Now we have got everything ready. It's time to really fry the rice. So add some vegetable oil into the wok. Stir fry the shrimp first. Over low heat. Stir fry it until it turns color. Once it turns color, remove it. I have some ingredient that I didn't mention just now. That is the I have some chicken slices marinated with some vegetable oil and salt yesterday. I like to fry the shrimps and the chicken and the onion separately because they all need different timing. Once the chicken is cooked, again we remove it. And now we add the onion. You can just saute it until it turns soft or you can stir fry it a little bit longer to caramelize it. It's up to you. Now you can add a little bit more oil if you need and put the egg into it. Put 
cooking at low flame when the egg is like half cooked, add all the rice. Continue frying until you feel that the rice is going to become a little drier and that's when it starts to become aromatic. And add the seasoning, the Thai seasoning sauce, fish sauce, a bit of sugar and curry powder and a little bit of white pepper. Return the onion, the chicken and the shrimp back to the rice and turn up the heat slowly add the pineapple add the color capsicum the red and the green and slowly increase the heat to create a warm aroma that is when you need high heat that is the last stage of stir frying you can hear the sound, you can actually see the flame. You really can smell and you really can see the smoke coming up from the wall. Once you see things like that, stop. Turn off the heat, add in some raisin if you like, and a little bit of cashew nut if you like. Mix and dish out. Very, very colorful and full of rock aroma. Look at the beautiful wok. Even though I use very high heat, it's still clean because this is a cast iron wok that is well seasoned. To serve, scoop the rice into the pineapple bowl. Put the shrimp on top to garnish. and sprinkle some scallion and serve. I hope I have explained clearly how to prepare pineapple fried rice in this video. If you would like to get the recipe, please go to tasteasianfood.com pineapple fried rice. And don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel by clicking the subscription button. Until then, I will see you again in the next video. My name is KB Kwan. Bye for now.